Today on the Stony Ridge Farm, we got this forestry mulcher. We're gonna be ripping into the trees, clearing fence lines, woo! <laughs> hey there, folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another fun and exciting day <laughs> here on the Stony Ridge Farm. It's gonna be fun and it is gonna be exciting today. So we have a gentleman here from Georgia. Yes, sir. Tell them who you are. I'm Dave Mann. I'm the owner of Mann's Tractor and Fence down in uh, Brunswick, Georgia. Um, we do agriculture residential fencing as well as forestry mulching and full-blown land clearing in a lot of a lot of uh, cases. Nice. Brushy trees, brushy area, briars, trees, mess, clearing, land restoration really, right? Yeah, in fact, kind of we're building to become an all one-stop shop for the homesteader. So we can clear your land, we'll put up your fence, we'll set your waters, we'll do everything nice. that the builder won't do uh, when you start your homestead that you, way. You got a stock trailer? You bring, Not yet. <laughs> we got to bring the cows too, man, cows and goats. So guys, today's video is going to be a bit of a mulching video that you guys are going to have some fun. We're going to be doing some forestry mulching here on the farm and we're mulching fence lines with the Mr. Man right here. Tell me about your machine right here. So, and this right here is Miss Stony Ridge. Hello. You're going to have to step to the side. We can't mulch you. <laughs> so tell me about your machine and your cutter head and what you got going. Yeah, so actually I just got this machine a couple weeks ago. Nice. Um, it's a brand new Bobcat T7. 70 um, high flow unit 92 horsepower uh, and then on the front of it i got the loftus battle axe s series uh, currently we're running the carbide heads or carbide teeth on it yep and uh but normally down south we're going to run knives and stuff just to kind of cut what we we see day to day gotcha the type of you know forced material we have um, we also have the Loftness cooler on top to yep. kind of keep temperatures down in Georgia when you get, you know, 100 degrees outside. It uh, really is taxing on these machines, so. Yeah. Well, you were smart enough to bring the carbide tips up here to the Stony Ridge Farm because he's seen the rocks. I did. I did. <laughs> so, I've seen enough videos it's, to know that those knives wouldn't make it. It's going to be a rock mulcher. Well, we're going to get busy, guys. We're going to unload this thing and we're going to start mulching. We'll take you through the woods over here and show you where the before is and then the after when we get done. This is going to be a two-part video series. So watch to the end of this and we'll have a link to the next video in the series and we're going to start building fence here We've got about 35 more acres to fence this year and about 45 next year. So let's get busy, man Thank I ain't you free to work I ain't afraid to play I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way I ain't afraid of life Times like this we're off the trailer we're getting ready to start mulching i'm going to take you over to the place where we're going to get started we're trying to get rid of what's called privet it's a very invasive species so we want to get rid of that privet and this is where we're headed this is going to be fun guys Today's day sponsor is AG1 from Athletic Greens. It's absolutely delicious. It's a nutritional drink that I drink. I incorporate this into my morning routine, guys. It's super simple. It has 75 high quality superfood ingredients, vitamins, minerals, all kinds of yumminess, and I incorporate it into my daily routine, and it tastes good. If you guys don't know, I recently lost about 85 pounds here on the farm. I'm all about eating right, feeding my animals right, feeding my soil right that's why we're mulching instead of just cutting this stuff up and making firewood I'm all about taking care of my body and taking care of my land and my animals this is an absolutely effortless daily habit all you do is take one scoop of AG1 put it in this little bottle or you can get this right here for the road so I just got back from the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville Kentucky I took a pack for every single day while I was there there's a link down in the video description and also a link right here it's athleticgreens.com forward slash stony ridge farmer guys let me just tell you it's super easy to do it's super easy it tastes great it's an effortless daily habit mm. and it's something that i believe in and i wouldn't share it with you if i didn't believe in it it's made me feel better you see how high energy i am essential daily routines like ag1 help us set our intentions for the year moving forward and moving in a healthy direction when we feel our best we show up better ag1 is the perfect supplement for this guys but let's get back busy mulching again there's a link right down there in the description you get some free stuff at athleticgreens.com forward slash stony ridge farmer Let's get busy mulching. So here's what we're mulching and here's what we're doing. The first thing he's got to do is move this rock. You can see all this brush. Our fence line is gonna go right off the corner of here. There'll be a gate. 
the cows will cross the road into the other pasture right through here. We have to clear out all this debris. We could do it with a chainsaw. We're talking about two days worth of work versus 20 minutes worth of work with the mulcher head. We're also going to go through here and we're going to be mulching up some of this. This is the edge of the pastures and the forest is constantly trying to take the pasture back. So we want to make sure we take the pasture back, not mother nature taking the pasture back. And this is for grazing land. There's a creek right here. So here's what we got to go through. Here's what we're clearing. This is going to be your before shot. You can see how thick the brush is right through here. X marks the spot right there. That's where we're headed to. And then we're going to mulch right up through here. There may be a couple bigger trees that we need to drop. You can hear the cows mooing. They're kind of hungry this morning. First thing we got to do, we can use this mulcher head as a bit of a grapple to get this big rock. This is one of the larger rocks on the Stony Ridge farm that was taken out of this pasture right here back in the day. So not only is a mulcher head good for uh, mulching, but it's also good for moving material like this. That's probably a 600 pound rock right there. He's just gonna roll it over in a hole. We'll bury that rock at some point. Nothing goes to waste on the farm, guys. Even a rock like this will be put into a gully to slow down erosion. There we go. One thing about a track machine on wet ground, we're gonna get a little bit of uh, destruction of the pastures, but it's all good. Crank it up, baby! Woohoo! Safety first. I'm out of here. Let's get the drone on it. Guys, what you're seeing here is this fella is chewing through what would take us days and days and days with a little chainsaw to clear our fence line areas. You're really gonna see a treat tomorrow because we're getting into a really rough and rocky area. It's gonna be pretty interesting. We've got a lot of work to get done today. We've got all day to do it. It's a gorgeous day. And again, this is just saving time and time is your most valuable commodity, guys. So if you can find something to save a little bit of time, do it just like we're doing here. Forestry mulching is awesome. This is a loftness forestry head. It's a really cool setup. The teeth that he's using, since we're on the Stony Ridge farm, are carbide teeth. In case he hits a rock, it shouldn't damage the teeth. And we're starting on an area that doesn't have a lot of rocks, and we'll work our way to the really rocky spot tomorrow.
How's she doing, man? Oh, she's doing pretty good. Uh, good. Trying to get used to the carbide teeth versus, yeah. you know, the knives that we normally run down south. First time you've ever used carbide teeth. Correct. Okay, cool. Well, I see the learning curve. It doesn't chip it up as fine and as quickly, but if you hit a rock, it holds up a whole lot better, right? Yeah, it doesn't break the teeth. That's it. Well, the rest of it's way on the other side of the farm. Look at them pines, man. Our wind really picked up here, guys. Uh, but it doesn't matter when you're rolling with a forestry mulcher. So here's what we're doing right now is we're clearing the edge of this field. And I mowed this field in a video not too long ago. And basically all we're doing is trying to get back the brush. So let me show you. This is what it looks like before. All back in here, you see these twigs are trying to take over the field. My property line is right there. Well, I have to go on my neighbor's property and I don't want to do that in order to access my place. We're cutting trails all the way through here. We'll be fencing all of this in. So we'll do silvo pasture in here. And this is also pines for building projects from the sawmill. It's real loud right now. So this is before, this is after. This is what it looks like after it gets done. So you see, we took every limb out that was high enough that he could reach every limb up through here. We took all that out so we can get the tractor under here and mow and look at what an awesome path. So if we look this way and then we look back that way, you can see we're getting 30, 40 feet of pasture land back. This land right here is something that I maintain. I take care of that for my neighbors and most likely this will be hay field within the next four years here on the Stony Ridge Farm. So. That's going to be hay field. We need to be able to get around the field good, and this is the perfect solution for that. Do not stand behind this machine. Watch what comes out the back. That log just shot out the back of it. That's why you're seeing most of this footage from the safety of the drone, far, far away, or time-lapse footage. We'll get you a time-lapse of him finishing all this up. Folks, if you like this kind of stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel. We'd love to have you back here on the Stony Ridge Farm with us. This is a first generation farm operation and we're building it the right way the first time, hopefully. And if we mess up, we'll show you and we'll tell you all about it. Boys and girls, that is day number one here on the farm, a full eight hour day. Just got a tiny bit more to do on the edge of this field and then we're going down through the woods. We can't get a lot of footage down through the woods, but we're gonna get you a little bit of before and after shot. Uh, we'll get the before in the end of this video and the after you'll see in the next video in this series. It's gonna be a few days from now and we'll show you the rest of this. We've gotta go all the way down the property line, all the way down into some bottoms and clear out a bunch of privet bushes down in the bottom. You guys will love that. <laughs> See ya! Guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Love to have you back here on the farm with us here on the Stony Ridge. Take care. Woo! We don't come on